Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin Prince, your virtual mentor. I am here with Lexi Lou. Lexi, do you want to say hi? Hi. And then also my beautiful Sierra. Sierra, you want to say hi? Hi. If you like seeing Sierra and Lexi in these videos, put a one in the comments. And our special guest today is uh, my main man, Isaac Prince, who is 12 years old. And he is an entrepreneur. He's really a bright young kid. He's mature beyond his age. By the way, can you handle this, this, uh, this new hair, this is called the Hawaii haircut. Drop a, drop a two if you love this haircut. So, KI, here's what I wanna talk about today. <clears throat> I wanna to talk about, um, I wanna talk both to kid entrepreneurs and I want you to talk to them specifically, but I also want you to talk uh, to their parents. Okay, so I'll ask you some questions about both, like how the parents can support them. So first of all, what, what drove you to wanna to become an entrepreneur? Um, I wanted to make money. You wanted to make more money? Yeah. And tell tell everyone about the business you ran this summer. Huh? What was it called and what did you do? Um, it was called Prince Pets and I sold animals. And where were you finding all of your inventory and your products? Huh? Uh, well, I actually caught all the animals and um, I bought all the cake stuff like that. And after, um, once the summer was all the way over, how much um, profit did you make with your business? $200. Was it like two thirty six? Mm, yeah, but for basically two hundred dollars. So two hundred dollars profit <clears throat> after all those expenses were paid, he made two hundred dollars profit. So that was a it was a great business. Now, when this when the fall and and winter hit, you had to adapt your business, which entrepreneurs have to do all the time, and you switched to a new business. Tell them about your new business. Mm, it's a garbage cleaning business. So tell them what you do for your clients. I clean out their garbages. You what? I clean out their garbages. Clean out their garbages. Okay, good. So one of the questions I have for kid entrepreneurs is, and this is true for all entrepreneurs, but how do they overcome their fear? Because one of the things that holds people back is they want to do it, they're excited about it, they have an idea, they have a dream, they have a goal, but they're just, they just don't start because they're too fear, the fear of failing is too high. So how did you overcome the fear of failure? <clears throat> hmm. Well... You have to fail in order to in order to succeed. So you just were willing to go through some failures. That's just kind of part of the process. Mm -hmm. I tell entrepreneurs that failing means that you're. It's a sign of life. It means you're actually doing the right things. Um, in school, if we fail 50% of the time, we get a, a failing grade. In entrepreneurship, if you fail 50% of the time, you're doing amazing. So one of the things that's so important for us as entrepreneurs is you have to learn how to adapt your strategies and adapt your you adapt what you're doing in the marketplace the marketplace can dictate sometimes that your strategies aren't working so tell everyone you had an example of a on the fly in the marketplace adapting your strategy so set up the scene of what happened you went out to one of our na neighborhoods by our house mm -hmm. and set up shop with your pet store and then tell them what happened <clears throat> so I had a bunch of these little fish and everyone was buying them but like so I had like it's Probably almost a hundred fish. And you caught the fish, right? Yeah. And how big were they? Hmm? Uh, they're about an inch, maybe an inch and a half long. Okay, so kind of like a goldfish size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I had about a hundred of these fish, and also like, so everyone's like coming over and started buying them, and by mm, like probably 15 minutes, I had less than 20 left, and so I started raising. How the, much were you selling them for originally? Hmm? I was selling them for 25 cents. Okay. <clears throat> then you started selling through them pretty fast. So I started selling them for 50 cents when it came past like 50. And then after, when it came like all the way down to 20, I sold them for sold them for a dollar. So as the... And then when it came down to um, less than five, I sold them for two dollars. So as the, as the demand increased and the supply was limited, you actually increased your price? Mm -hmm. Good Good thinking. And uh, you, so you adapted on the fly. Like you didn't go home, think about it. You just learn and adapt it on the fly. Mm -hmm. What advice would you have for parents who kid, who their kids come to them and say, "Mom or Dad, you know, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to start a little business." Like, what what advice would you have for parents to help them to maybe um, either support that child or get over their fear of that ki of that child going out and maybe failing or or getting out in the marketplace and whatever? What what advice would you have for the parents? Well, if you're a parent, you obviously know your child like even more than they know their, themselves. So if you know what they love, then ask them to help, like just find out a way that they can um, make money off what they love. And what they love can drive them to make money. So I would tell parents to find out what their child, child really loves and try to find a way to make money off it. So that actually leads me to the question about how would you encourage a young entrepreneur 
to find what business to start. So like how, how would they even know where to start? Like what business should they start to, as far as knowing which, what is the right business for them? As long as you have a passion, you have a business. Okay. And so, if like, if you, if you don't love it, then you, you don't you don't make money off it. You love what you love what you do. Like, if you don't if you're not driven by what you're making money off of, you don't really make money off it because you don't try your best. But if you try your best because you love it, then you'll make money off it. So you don't really you love pets mm -hmm. and and animals in general. But the garbage cleaning business, that was more of a, of a business. I don't know if you have a lot of passion for it specifically. Maybe you do, by the way. No, I don't. But, but you do have, you saw a need in the marketplace. Like you, it's, it's what I call find a need and fill it, find a problem and solve it. So uh, if someone doesn't have like just like their life's calling to do their business, but there's a need in the marketplace, is that still a worthwhile business in your opinion? Well, <clears throat> like, of course, just getting started with um, making money is finding out what you want to do to make money but of course like just getting used to selling stuff and or whatever you're doing even if you're like doing a service like garbage cleaning is a service not a you know like giving anyone someone something but so yeah you find out what you want to do and then you find out like ways other ways to make money then you can be more adaptable and more used to it so then by then you can do stuff that's not even your passion but you still want to make money great job so last uh, question for you and I think all of us watching this, drop a drop a three in the comments if, if, if you're like proud of this kid, holy cow, and I'm not trying to be self-serving here, but just he's such a bright young kid and he's such a, um, uh, he's, he's, a, he's kind of an old soul, you know, he just he's a good thinker. So drop a three if you agree with that, if you think he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's going places, he's a bright kid. So last thing I want, I want to do is I want you to talk to someone that's your age, right? 12 years old, 13 years old, 11, 11 years old. What advice do you have for them? Just a young entrepreneur. They want to be a business person. What's your last piece of advice you'd have before we jump off? Mm. Find your passion. Learn to make money off it. And after you do that, learn to want to make money and want to make a living. Good job. Okay, proud of you. Okay, guys, if you got some value out of this conversation with uh, my main man, Isaac. Sierra, do you want to say hi again? <laughs> Drop a four in the comments here. Here's my girl, Sierra. Sierra. You want to say hi? So, how is this for a, a place to make a, a video? Pretty cool. All right, guys. Appreciate you so much. Look forward to talking to you again real soon. Thanks, Isaac. Talk soon.